I am here to help you flip some houses, people. Let's flip some houses together, right? House flipping is a tough business. You got to identify distressed properties. You got to put out the offers. You got to understand the ARV. You got to understand the scope of work. You got to get the work done. Hire the contractors. Sell the property. Mark, do all. There's a lot of stuff involved with flipping houses. And when you do it out of state, whoa, it just makes it 10 times harder. But don't you all worry if you're in one of those super expensive markets where you can't afford to get into the business flipping houses and you're going to the cheaper markets so you can afford it. I am here to walk you through everything I just mentioned and I will actually do the on the ground work for you, supply the boots on the ground labor. Let's go! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here for you. Pow! Look at that. Let me just, let me come at you out of the phone. Ah! Did, I hope, did that, did, did that come, did that come out of the phone? Did, did, that, did that come out of the phone? Woo! Okay, all right, all right. All right. Let's get back to business here, all right? We need to get back to business, folks. Seriously, let's get serious. Today I am working uh, for my guy Mike, right? Mike, you're an out-of-state investor, and uh, we are working on flips, and you are hoping to hit a flip looking for an ARV uh, around the 225k range, that's like the minimum target you want to hit. You want to go a little higher. You're hoping to make up, uh, get into the deal, make offers at approximately 75% of the ARV, less your renovation budget, less your scope of work. So I am here to take that criteria and put it to play in the real world, identify a property, identify the strategy, identify the renovation. Let's do all of that right now there are two sides to wholesaling bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics together they're a match made in heaven this is our wholesaling course let the link and buy the course welcome back folks now what we are trying to do per your request right you are trying to pick up a property to flip you want to make an acquisition uh, price, your, your your purchase price, uh, you want it to be 75% of the ARV less the repairs, right? You guys hear things, the 70% roll, 75% roll. I've heard it. I've heard it both ways, right? Uh, so that's what we're going to do, right? So this is our target property right here. And uh, to do that, right, you need to actually, A, know what the ARV is, and B, know what the renovation is. Don't you worry. I am here to walk you through the whole thing and supply you data to back it all up, all right? So the address, 7715 Brexville Road, Independence, Ohio, 44131. This is listed for 264900 It's been on the market 84 days. That's a stale listing folks a stale listing you're trying to flip properties step number uno okay is to find a seller in a distress situation this <clears throat> distress situation okay this is a seller who owns a property and it's not selling so that's good for us now does that mean they're going to accept our offer no it's not guaranteed this is flipping houses folks what you need to understand is it is a numbers game all right there is no such thing as a house flipper who makes one offer gets one house makes two offers gets two houses makes three offers get three it's not how the game works okay it's like being a commercial fisherman right the bigger the net the more fish you're gonna catch do you catch all the fish no but you ain't a big net, right? So if you're going to try to flip houses, get that into your brain right now that you need to get out there and make a lot of offers. That's how you do it, right? And then step one, you make offers to people who are in a distressed situation. This person on the market for a long time, their property is not moving, all right? Now, from the outside, 
looks like it's good. Well taken care of, right? This is what we call a house with good bones. That's what we want, right? It's pretty cool when you're starting to flip houses to be able to do these cosmetic flips. Like these are the nice little easy ones we want to do where you're really just doing cosmetic stuff in nice neighborhoods, right? This is Independence, Ohio, folks. This is a very, very nice neighborhood, right? Uh, if you're investing in the greater Cleveland area, uh, I have a guide. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I've graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale. F being the cheapest properties with the highest level of risk. A being the most expensive properties with the lowest level of risk, right? So uh, depending on what your investment strategy is, you may be interested in different uh, types of asset classes, right? So like if you're looking for like Section 8 rentals, you're probably hitting up the C and D grade neighborhoods. If you're just down for the cheapest possible properties ever and you're like a seasoned battled landlord, you might be looking at F grade properties. If you're trying to flip houses with a high margin, you probably want to be in A neighborhoods, which is what this one is, Independence. Why? Because this is where the wealthy people live. This is where the pricing is going to be higher, still much lower than a lot of the other markets y'all are used to. Uh, but when your ARV is closer to 300K than it is to 100K, you get a larger spread and a bigger opportunity to make money, right? It's very, very hard uh, to flip houses where the ARV in the neighborhood is like $75,000, right? There's just the margins are too thin, right? So this is a good candidate, right? Super low risk. And the fact that this flip is really just cosmetic makes it even lower risk, right? So nice neighborhood, good yard. And what do we got, right? We just got a house that looks like your grandma lived there. Your grandma probably lived in this house for 30 years. She's got the old school little granny wallpaper action. Looks like we got like a double wallpaper action here. You got like the plaid and then the other weird wallpaper. This is what we want, dude. Look how like clean and fresh this is. Yeah, we're going to freaking get rid of it because it's dated as all hell. But you can tell this house was well taken care of. And like you just got to do things like paint and get rid of this ceiling fan bring it into the modern times okay this is a house that should not have a bunch of hidden surprises right hidden surprises those are the things that blow your budget right we're doing simple stuff kitchens and baths man carpet and paint stuff like that now uh just so you are aware this house has uh, oh, a little cedar closet right a little cedar closet this is nice actually you wouldn't want to paint this cedar closets are big man Anywho, uh, this house has a third bathroom, just this little guy right down here in the basement. Uh, we're not going to do anything. It's just like an extra little bonus in the unfinished area. We're only going to budget for uh, redoing two of those bathrooms, right? So with all of that, here's the chart. What we're going to be spending is approximately forty-two grand, and that's going to be painting the walls, patching any holes, but it was well taken care of, right? I don't think Granny's out there punching holes in walls when she gets drunk, right? That's like a C-grade neighborhood special. You don't see too much of that in little old lady houses here in A-grade neighborhoods, right? So about 6 k for that. Uh, refinishing the hardwoods where there was hardwoods, redoing the carpet where there was carpet. You're looking at probably another 6 k About a 15 spot for the kitchen. Uh, another 15 for two of the three bathrooms, not going to touch the one in the basement, right? So on the low end, we should be looking at about 42. Uh, this is like a post-COVID world, though, so supplies, cost, things do get higher. So on the high end, it could get as high as 50. But 42 seems pretty reasonable to me, okay? Now, what's it going to look like? Let me show you what it's going to look like, and then that is also going to be our best comp, right? Because I told you I was going to show you data, right? Data. This is our best comp for this property. Very similar. 7817 Cambridge Drive, Brexville. 44141. Very close to this within a half mile, right? Uh, this sold for $280,000 within four days. They listed it at $249,900. It sold for $280,000, right? About similar uh, age to our property. And this is what we can, similar age and size. And this is what we can expect if we make it look like this. Because this is like essentially what we want ours to look like, right? This is not a little old lady house, right? This we're going to take our property and make it look similar to this. I'm not saying it's going to look exactly like this, but this is what buyers want in today's market, right? This is a good representation 
of what we are going to make our property look like, right? You got the grays, you got the woods, just everything is fresh, it's crisp, it's clean, right? So this is what we're going to do to our property. There's some other stuff in the neighborhood, neighborhoods, pool, like none of that really matters. But that's the look, right? And that's sold for 280, okay? 280. They're asking 264.9. Well, our ARV is 280, so obviously we can't pay 264.9, right? And nobody's paying uh, 264 now because it's been on the market for quite a while. What we need to do is pay 168. 168 is our number if we are determined to get into this investment under the rule of being at 75% of the ARV less our repairs because our repairs should be approximately 42K. And then having me sell it for you after the fact, of course, you're going to have commission and closing costs on that as well. That should result in a $38,000 profit for you by the time the deal's done. Now, it's a competitive market out there, folks. These are the numbers. You could pay 168 if you're determined to make 38K, but you know what? The deal would probably also be good if you made 28K. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you if you want to go over the 168 number, but this is exactly what will happen if you flip 7715 Brexville Road with me, with my team. We will do the entire renovation. We will handle everything. You are going to be 100% passive. This is how you flip houses out of state. If you're interested in making the offer, let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.